every painting starts with an idea and I got the idea from this painting from this photo of my nieces playing two up in Kalgoorlie and I instantly saw in my mind this painting with the grown-up emus playing two up while the chicks were outside sort of a bit of an extension of the kids left in the car park outside the casino theme so all the paintings start off with the background which is three coats of paint and let over dry, dry overnight and once that's thoroughly dry I sketch out my subject using a chalk pencil and then I underpaint it. The reason I use underpainting is because some of the paints are quite transparent and you can see the background shining through underneath so I want this shed to look solid. I'll underpaint now the shadows using a mixture of black and cobalt blue. Notice how roughly I do this. This is to add a little bit of detail to it. Next I'm going to paint the wet on wet background. So I start by coating my entire canvas in a mixture of acrylic painting medium and water. This allows me to create some soft edges in contrast to the hard edges of the shed. I have to work really fast here because it takes about 20 minutes for the whole thing to dry and once it's dry you won't get any soft edges, only hard edges. So I've speeded up this video quite a lot to show you the whole process in one. Just adding the few more details in the foreground and then I'm going to let this dry totally overnight before I add in more details over the top of this background. You can notice how it's created these lovely soft out of focus effects which will go into the background once I paint the details of the foreground over the top. Here I'm underpainting the emus. Now I put, you know, quite a few layers of paint on everything that I do. So I always start out by blocking in a basic light or dark colour. And I've scratched out the emu feathers with a palette knife as I go. You can notice those background shadows have quite a few layers of paint on them already. So they've gone from that blue-black to the corrugated iron in the distance. Here I'm putting some silver paint on the roof using a much thicker paint to create some texture which I'm then going to scumble the details over the top. This is a shot of my finished painting. You can see how all those elements have come together. Music